Okay, so in the last screencast you saw the debugging with the iPhone simulator. Uh, we can show that again briefly here. Launching the Rhodes application. We can see it is connected to the simulator. We can now add a breakpoint. See that it has stopped at our breakpoint. We can now single step and evaluate Ruby commands. We can also change the instance variables and modify the behavior of our application. Once we're satisfied, we click continue and see that it has now been rendered. So let's disconnect from the emulator and we will exit the Rhodes app on the iPhone simulator. Now we'll bring up our Android simulator. Our Android simulator has the same Rhodes app launched. So we can select that and after it launches we will see it will connect to our, our debugger. You can see it changed to connected and we're back to our application. We can now add our breakpoints and we can see we have the same behavior as we did on the iPhone where we can now single step we can evaluate Ruby commands and we can also change our instance variables select continue and see it now renders what we just put in and that is debugger working with both iPhone and Android.